Traditional landscape painting in watercolour, part three. Now this is the part we've been waiting on. This is where you get to add all the fine detail to the um, painting, just to bring it to life. I'm going to start off with the church, um, which I think is the key point in this painting, the key feature. Um, and I'm going to just darken off some bits. I just feel that these bits are not dark enough to get good contrast. So I'm going to start off with mixing up a, a dark brown. I've got some burnt umber here. Just going to add a little bit of, bit of Payne's grey. And that'll do. So some of these um, I'm just going to test it out on the paper. Yeah, that'll do. Some of these colours uh, washes will be, will be stronger. What I mean by that is um, thicker paint tonal value will be about um, 7 or 8 mark. Right. And there's a door here that I didn't see. So I'm going to just drop that in. And as I said, I'm going to um, try and make these ends a bit darker. Just to end this building a bit. See how that's helped. That's um, while I've got that colour mixed up, I'm going to add some darker bits to the um, to the wall. This bit here. We'll get lighter as we come round. So I just want to. Um, you see that I'm not painting it all in in one. I like to try and leave some bits of the lighter colour while I'm here I may as well start to add some little bits of detail to the wall and that'll do and again like we did the last time and just going to soften that off and it helps to give a bit of a curve. So what uh, I'll carry on, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to, I've changed brush, I've got a slightly smaller brush. I'm going to start putting some, um, just let you see down here, I'm going to start putting some bits of um, stones in on the wall. Now this is not a brick wall, you know, we don't want painting bits like this where they're all neat and nice and tidy. So we put them in at different shapes, different sizes and uh, it will help to create a nice texture finish. I'm going to have one or two, I have a bigger bit there, just go along a bit. And uh, that'll do. Don't know when I go right along here, I'll just finish it like that, that's fine. And I'm going to do the same on the church. Just going to put, going to put a big stone in there and a smaller one. a rigger brush. I just want to put some smaller ones in. Right, that'll 
ってねそのトップのストーンマークがあるんだよ。カリオンは、この、この、この、この、この、この、この、この、この、この、この、この、この、この、この、この、この、Then one or two strokes to suggest tiles. And they're all about to go along the top of the roof just to Solid. You see that I'm not making straight lines here, yeah, don't just go straight along. Right, um, just need to darken this bit as well. Doing a way back in part one of these crosses, and uh, I like to get that finished now. Right, that should do. Right, I think that's the church finished. Just going to put one or two bits in for suggest. Glass windows or something like that. Darken that off a bit to get the contrast again. So that's looking quite nice. This bit here is quite good as well, that going round the corner effect. These stairs um, down from the church, when you get that done, get that out of the road, and then we can. Concentrate on the grass. So you can see I'm just quickly dropping that in. Right, that'll do fine. This point I've got this grey colour, I'm gonna put some just a little bit of shadow on this big rock here. And I've mixed up a, a green and I want to I want to show you a little trick that I have not a trick but just a way of um trying to make the, the grass have a little bit of texture in it. So make some little humps of um this green. Uh, I'll just I'm going to put another one over here, yeah. Now, you can't leave that like that, so what I want you to do is um, get some clear water and put it down at the one side. Just keep adding water to that. And it will create the feeling of a little bump there. Just some more water. And just keep adding it just to get rid of and that bit there. Right, so that right. See how I've splayed the brush? And that can come up like so. Make sure you see all that right. So I'm going to get the rigger as well because uh, I want to make some longer bits. You don't get them all the 
the seam. Right. While I've got this um, darkish green colour mixed up, I'm tackle this area over here to the bank going down to the the road. So I just want to flick some bits up there. Uh, a kind of darkish bit here just highlights the steps. in there that's in the shade a bit of light coming this way so there'll be a, a dark part just put some water on it and soften it off there's a bit um, behind the uh, end of the church where there's one or two nice um, trunks of trees quite thin ones so I've just mixed up a bit of brown some grey in it and uh, put one or two just using the rigger here to Just working my way down, I'm going to tackle this part here, these stones, I just need to put some bits of detail in there. So, um, got the rigger brush again, just going to highlight some bits, drag it down. And there's some bits of slightly darker or in the shade and the light's coming here so this bit will be in the shade as well and probably a bit over here just going out of the picture but it will help to have a bit here and a bit in the shade Mixed up a, a dark grey colour and uh, there's a gate here and a fence so I'll try and get that in just now. And uh, just going round the corner and down the, the hill. Just going to add some bits of texture there. I'm not um, filling it all in and again I'm going to use the edge of the brush just to Dots and dabs some bits in, some darker bits. Again, look for contrast, it always helps. Right, I'll leave that for a minute. What I'll do again, just similar to up here, just add some water to soften that off. 
and we'll get some nice chunks in there as well. I've mixed up a watery grey colour, very low value. Um, and use that just to put a bit of a texture on the that path or road that's going down there. That's fine, that's um, do it. Just to break it up, that was a bit bare, a bit bland, that just one colour. I've mixed up some yellow ochre with a bit of that grey just to darken it a bit and what uh, I'm really just waiting on this um, paint drying the green bit so um, just dropping some little bits of colour in here to help suggest the, the leafy parts of the foliage I've mixed up a, a nice light grey colour with um, cobalt blue and a bit of light red and what I plan to do is um, I'm just going to suggest that there's trees just outside of this um, picture but there's a shadow coming across the road, the light's coming this way, so can you add a little bit of texture to the let's take it right across Mixing up a quite a thick dark. Uh, I want to put some down here, some brown pins grey. I want to put in some tree suggestions down here. Some thin ones again. Yeah, let's try. So we'll just get the the rigor brush and put one or two in come up here a bit and in here and I'm going to put a big one in here slightly bigger Before I close this video, um, I'm going to do a five minute um, painting summary. It's um, basically to get a feedback from you, the viewers and the subscribers, beginners to watercolour painting. This um, video is the first time I've split one up into three parts and it lasted about 54 minutes. The idea was to help beginners to break it down so that you can take step by step. So what I would ask is if you could make some comments. Let me know if you'd prefer this or would you just prefer to carry on and do it in one go. So what I was planning to do um, on the videos in future was to produce some that were probably about a three or a four degree of difficulty for beginners. So the painting itself would from start making a sketch to finish in 15 minutes. So that's the target. So if you could send some comments and let me know what you feel, I would much appreciate it. So thank you and keep painting.